Hi everybody, Enash here for a very special day. Today is the Motor City Comic Con, and I am here, of course, with myself and the whole fam. We got uh, Han Solo over here. We got Ezra Bridger back here. We got Han Solo's son, Kylo Ren. Wife, Tiftastic, wearing the Supergirl uh, outfit. My friend, Jeremy, and uh, his little girl, Emma, who's come as Wonder Woman. Hi, Emma. Hi. Are you ready for Comic Con? Yeah. All right. So we're going to go in and have some fun and uh, we'll uh, build some stuff on the way. Talk to you soon. So as most of you know by now, I am a huge comic book fan. I am a huge Star Wars fan and just uber nerd anyways. And so this is my third Comic Con. Tiffany and I came about three years ago for the first time and we just absolutely loved it. And uh, we've brought the kids ever since and they love it. They love dressing up. And uh, last year Tiffany dressed up as Harley Quinn and uh, it's just great. I mean, where else can you walk around and see people dressed up as stormtroopers and superheroes and see wrestlers that you grew up with and things like the Batmobile and Twiggy from Buck Rogers and just different Different television stars and movie stars that you grew up with it's just an awesome experience so uh, I tell you if you've never been come to the Motor City Comic Con we started off our day here in the Batmobile of course uh, I had to get in the cockpit but then you know you got to let the wife drive every once in a while so she took over the controls and you know these kids are growing up really fast and before you know it they're gonna be uh, driving and so they wanted to take their turn in the cockpit and he's on the phone there with Commissioner Gordon uh, you know but hey if you've never seen one of these replica cars I tell you they are super cool it was really neat to be there and uh, of course then it was a special treat this time because uh, all the four horsemen were there along with J.J. Dillon and uh, Barry Windham and Tully Blanchard and Arn Anderson and of course at the end the man that you have to beat to be the man that's right Ric Flair we got to spend some time talking with Ric Flair I uh, got to tell him uh, how well we think his daughter Charlotte's doing in the WWE and uh, we all took a picture together Woo! one of the great things about Comic-Con is just to walk around and see the people and uh, there's lots of vendors here selling all kinds of things from toys to comics to artwork and uh, it's just really cool. We met up with these guys, yes that's right, Michael Zapsik and Ming Chen from uh, the Comic Book Men TV show. These guys were awesome. I gotta say that uh, between them and Leah Thompson, these guys just made our day. Here's Mike uh, playing with my old uh, Han Solo blaster. He just loved that. And of course, this was us waving at Leah Thompson as she came in. We all stopped everything we were doing because she's so awesome. But you know what? They just took a picture with us and not just a picture, but they just talked with us. Uh, Ming actually even asked me what my uh, YouTube uh, handle was so he could check out the channel. So Ming, if you're watching, dude, we loved you guys. Thank you so much for being great and for uh, taking the time to talk with us and just spend some time with us. And I tell you, if you ever get a chance to meet these guys, do it because they are wonderful people and they're just down to earth and real. Next up, we waited in line to meet Leah Thompson from Back to the Future and Howard the Duck and just watching her with her fans was so awesome. There was uh, a guy and his son in front of us who uh, they were wearing a Doc and Marty costume and uh, the kid had a uh, hoverboard with him and it was just great to see her with her fans. Uh, just She was so sweet and nice and when we finally got a chance to go up and talk to her, um, I just shared with her how much uh, her movies had meant to me and my family and how cool it was to be able to share with my kids something that uh, I grew up with and meant so much to me and she just gave me a great big hug she just hugged me and thanked me for that and uh man that was just so surreal that i'm sitting there hugging uh you know marty mcfly's mom it was just it was it was insane and it was just a lot of fun and uh, later in this video i actually have a little bit from her question and answer panel uh that we got to ask her a couple of questions now you got to be careful when walking around Comic-Con because you never know who you're going to meet. Like, you know, a stormtrooper here or a rogue band of Mandalorian warriors there that we had to make short work of on our way to go see Allison Mack. That's right, Allison Mack. She played Chloe on Smallville. And this was super cool for me to see her, pun intended, because uh, I just love the show Smallville and it was really great to see her. We're introducing the kids to Smallville right now on DVD. So this was a lot of fun and she was really, really great. Moving on, we got to see Batman and Supergirl hanging out. We got to walk back through the parking lot with them at the end of the day. And uh, then of course, there's always some space balls hanging around. Everywhere you turn, there's some space balls. <laughs> but then we got to see Tr 
Raider! That's right, this Stormtrooper was waiting for us, and then him and Kylo Ren teamed up on Han Solo, but I think Han Solo ended up getting the best of him in the end. Then, how cool is this? We got to take a picture with Marty McFly's truck from Back to the Future. It was super cool. On our way, of course, to go see Brent Spiner from Star Trek The Next Generation. I'm telling you, every time you turn around, there was something new and cool to do here at Comic-Con. There's something for everybody. Now, we went uh, to a couple of panel discussions this year. We hadn't done that before, but this year we got to see Adam West and Burt Ward, Batman and Robin themselves, and then Leah Thompson's. And so what you're gonna see next is uh, their panels and my question to Adam West and Burt Ward. Here you go. First of all, what an honor it is to be able to address you guys today. You've got legends. Thank you. Appreciate all your work. My name is Adam West. I'm the <laughs> but, uh, Mr. West, I did want to address a question to you. You've been able to reinvent yourself, it seems, over the years, and especially recently, uh, reinvented yourself by being on Family Guy as the character of Adam West. And it's often that I walk into the house and my wife will look at me and go, you want to play Stratego? I have Stratego. <laughs> and so I wanted to ask you how that came about. It's so great to see you kind of poking fun at yourself and, and doing that. It's just this is a lot of fun, so I uh, Not many actors uh, really do that, and I felt that it was, uh, I think it's good to do that. <laughs> you know, to be able to poke fun at yourself. Bert, how do you feel? Well, you know, we both did a, recently, we did a, an animation. Uh, That's enough, Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Go, folks uh, Batman and Robin are on their way back you heard it first here on my channel after we talked to them we went over to Leah Thompson's uh, panel and you know we found out some really interesting things for, uh, through this panel Landon actually got to ask a question and I asked a question as well but she actually auditioned for Princess Leia and shared a story about Harrison Ford's soft hands My favorite movie? Um, I have a weird favorite movie of all time. It's Harold and Maude. Yes. Yes. I don't know how, when I was your age, I saw it like 30 times. It's strange. I, uh, it's just that I love Hal Ashby. I love being there. I'm really sad I never got to work with him. Um, that's my favorite movie, but yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> that and Gone with the Wind, but. Yeah, it's a great movie. Two good movies for you to check out. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Hi there, my name is Kyle. I did, I met Harrison Ford at George Lucas's birthday party, and I can tell you something, he has the softest hands ever. <laughs> and I was like, dude, you're a carpenter. How come your hands are so awesome? <laughs> So there's a tidbit for the internet for you. Uh, here's the softest hands of the carpenter. Uh, maybe that's what, that, maybe he slipped off the steering wheel on that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, as a big Star Wars fan, it's kind of cool to come to your panel and get Star Wars stuff. That's kind of cool. Um, so uh, I was, we had a chance to talk out there on the floor, and uh, I was just sharing with you about how much 
to movies and back to me and my family. I even, I even put it back to the future reference in my vows, telling my wife that <laughs> if a guy ever showed up in a DeLorean and told me I had to go back in time and save our family that I was glad to do it. And um, you got, you know, you just, I've loved all your movies ever since I was a kid. And, uh, but I, one guy stole my question, but I wanted to uh, ask you another question. And that is, when building Back to the Future, because it kind of jumps around a lot, and I really like those, those plots where we're seeing people in, in time, but we see Marty back at a different time, and then again there and stuff. Um, how much of that did you have to reshoot the same scenes for? And how surreal was that, kind of having to come back to a movie and reshoot some of those parts that you had already done? What was hard was sometimes they would use your close-up from when I was shooting with Eric Stoltz, and that was unpleasant, you know, because acting is like between two people. And um, the, the biggest, I did shoot the whole scene where he wakes up in 1955. I shot that whole scene with Eric Stoltz, and I, like, I was like, for some reason they couldn't use any of my stuff. So that was great, I got to reshoot that, because it was a completely different scene with two different actors, you know, it was weird. But the, the most that you can really see what they saved was the um, car chain, the, where Biff ends up in the manure, and he's on the um, skateboard. They used all of Eric's stuntmen, so they had to somehow put put make uh, Michael's hair look the same. So they kind of greased the back. They don't explain it at all, but you know, and the stuntman doesn't look like Michael Fox. He's much taller and um, looks like Eric Stoltz. So if you watch the movie and you watch that sequence, you can see that they used almost all of the stunt footage that they had already shot. Of, of him. That's cool. And just three questions. How you, you get attacked by the shark, and it's just kind of just kind of mauls you over, and it looks like you were completely eaten, but then you weren't. Uh, how was it working with the mechanical shark? That's the funniest thing because the very I had lied and said I'd all done all these movies and I hadn't done anything. So my very first day on my very first movie, they go, uh, Leah, we have a stunt for you, and they push this button, and the shark comes out of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I go, oh, they're so really trying to kill me off before they get me at any film. I literally, that was my first day. And um, and they also had this big 3D camera that they didn't know how to use. And so luckily it took a couple days to shoot that. But yeah, I that was really stupid and scary. <laughs> well, you were great. So. But I have to see it. Literally haven't seen it in 30 years. My brother gave me... My brother went to see the movie and he goes, well, you laughed a lot. You just laughed a lot. And I said, okay. So those were a lot of fun, and uh, if you'd like to, I'm going to be posting the full panel discussion videos for both of those panel discussions on the channel later, so you can watch the whole thing. Uh, you know, it was a really great day, and we had a lot of fun, and uh, you know, well, this guy came around every once in a while asking me about droids. No, these aren't the droids you're looking for. Just move along. Keep going. And uh, just in case you had any doubts, here are some testimonials from the day. Have you had fun at Comic-Con, Tiffany? Yes, I have. I got much booty to prove it. Oh my goodness. How about you? Have you had fun at Comic-Con? Yes. Have you had fun at Comic-Con? Yes. Have you had fun at Comic-Con? Yes. Have oh, you yeah. had fun at Comic-Con? Hey, Emma, have you had fun at Comic-Con? Yeah. We've all had a blast here at Comic-Con 2016 here at the Motor City Comic-Con. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, some of the stuff that we showed you. We bought a lot of stuff and uh, met a lot of cool people and had a lot of fun. And so um, I hope that you enjoyed this time that we shared with you, bringing it to you right here on my channel. So thanks so much if you like this video, hit subscribe, uh, hit a like button, and leave a comment below. All right, until next time, I'm Enosh, bye-bye.